Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about Diablo 4 settings and how you can maximize your FPS and also make the game look really, really good. So if you go to your options first off and foremost, you need to check out the graphic settings. I like to do windowed full screen that I can, you know, easily get from left side monitor, right side monitor very quickly with the windowed full screen. But if you are running into problems, FPS issues, or you just want the game to look better and smoother, definitely go to full screen. It's going to make sure it gives all of the processes or really all of the, uh, you know, all of the divided, undivided attention to Diablo 4 for the most part. So it, it makes sense to just continue to run full screen if you are running into issues, but if not, you can go winded full screen like I do. So obviously you're going to want to make sure you have your adapter selected. Mine's going to be the 3090. If we go down a little bit farther though, this is where you're going to actually have an option to change some of these things. So first off, we have sharpen image. And this is something that will actually change based on the mobs you're playing against and where kind of the sharpening or how much of the sharpening you want. I do like it at round six, but if you actually pull it up to about 25 to 30, you will get sharper images across the entire game, and it can actually make it look much, much better. We also take a look at the HDR. So this is something I will not select. If you guys want, though, read and understand what it does before selecting it. It basically allows for more details in lights and darks of the game's visuals. It does look really good. However, your HDR is going to only be available if your monitor supports it. So if it does support it, check mark it, see if it runs with good FPS. If it doesn't, continue on from there. Next up, we have vertical sync. I'm going to leave this on, but it synchronizes your frame rate to some fraction of your monitor's refresh rate. Enable this if you see excessive screen tearing in the game. So you got to really just kind of understand what some of this stuff means because it's going to depend on what really composition of a computer you have or you're running or playing with. Next up, we have the light. This is something that I like to have on. It toggles lighting effects on connected peripherals, and this just basically allows you to know what mobs are where outside of your screen's kind of radar. Uh, we also have the brightness. You can calibrate your brightness to your individual liking. I actually have mine pretty bright. I do like the game you know, being dark for the most part, but I do want to be able to see everything fairly easily and get down hallways fairly easily, so I keep mine at a pretty good brightness level. If we close that, though, we do have more to look at. So we have the resolution percentage. Obviously, 100% is going to be what most of us want. DLS, I have that off. Max foreground FPS, 150. Max background FPS. I really don't care about the max background FPS at all. I just left it at 8. That is the default. And there's really no reason to bring that up even higher. Next up, this is where all of the quality game of, or sorry, the quality graphics come into play. I keep mine at high. You can go custom and kind of customize what you want to do. But I like the idea of bringing just all the highest qualities in this game together at once and it really doesn't affect my fps much however if you are having fps issues literally just clicking low is a very very good start to making sure that your computer can run it or your laptop if you have low fps you're probably playing on a laptop or an older computer and making sure that you have the quality on low is going to help you out quite a bit you can obviously turn down some of this other stuff like clutter quality you can turn that down you can turn texture quality down and some of this other stuff that's just set to medium even after you turn the quality to low to influence and make sure that you have the highest fps possible however like i said for my personal gameplay i'm going to keep mine a high as i'm not having any issues you can also go to this screen space reflections definitely having this off is going to help you quite a bit by the way, when it comes to FPS, as well as low FBX, or sorry, not low FPS, but low FX, it's going to reduce the number of rendered fractal system effects. This may greatly improve performance. So bad FPS, make sure you have this check marked. Um, this is going to be huge and it's really going to help your performance overall. And that's why they have that option available to us. So that's the main stuff I wanted to talk about. So let's save that real quick and let's go back over to gameplay because this is going to be important too. And I know this doesn't really hinder your FPS or anything, but some of the things that I would definitely turn off is screen shakes. If you're just there as a hardcore gamer, you typically don't want screen shakes. It just affect your gameplay. But if you are there for the full on experience and you want those screen shakes because that, you know, it, puts you into the game itself, then for sure, definitely have that check marked. But I'm going to take that off. We also have combat hit flash. So this will enable hit flashes on character while hitting a monster or playing during combat. It's up to you. If you want to leave this one on or off, you'll see what that does. But a lot of these different, uh, these different gameplay options are going to be dependent on what you like personally. Uh, but 
that's basically all I'm going to kind of go over. You also can do this, so display player highlight, which will show your personal player and highlight your personal player in-game. So if we see now, my guy is actually going to be highlighted while I walk around, which is pretty cool. It's going to be an easy way to kind of see your character if you are losing your character and you don't play, maybe, um, you know, you don't play too often and you need to be able to see what your character, you know, where your character is on the map and... I just think this is like all around some of the best settings you can do or use. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Hopefully this helps you get better FPS or better quality all around. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.